Praise the Lord. Thomas Manton IV here. Coming to you with a prophetic word from heaven. The Lord spoke to me something very strong and unusual uh, a while ago. And I'm going to dive into it a little bit uh, here right now. Amazing how God can just uh, direct you. To be directed by the Lord is the most wonderful privilege we all have. And um, it's the most important thing. In these days, the only thing you want to do is to have the Holy Ghost tell you what to do and be directed by Him. And if someone thinks, well, that's easy and that's like par for the course and that's normal, I say, uh, no, it isn't, because a lot of people don't. They're led by rituals and customs or even manipulations or scenarios, all kinds of things, but not always by, the, by God. In these days, it's important to do what he says, what he wants, hear him, and flow with it. And God's made some things very clear to me over the last uh, uh, many days. Very, very clear. And uh, uh, right now I want to prophesy, I want to prophesy into the atmosphere, not so much uh, teaching. And I have no interest in impressing anybody in the, in the, in the, pre, in the, in the world of church or whatever. I don't care about that. I want to prophesy into existence what needs to be. And that's it. The rest, you know. And uh, I, I want to say maybe this is like a, more of a message for our people, people connected to this vine, this, this tribe, this grace that's upon my life in ministry. And uh, that's fine. You know, we want to help see people that have an honor and an affinity for us, connection with us too prosper and succeed and go higher. Everybody out there, you know, a lot of people look in, whatever, we don't know you, we don't know. Some might say, I don't know you. I say, I don't know you. <laughs> Let's debate about the voice of God, you know? And uh, my God, how God's used me around the world, it's been phenomenal. I'm at a point where I don't really care about all the other things that people want to promote themselves like they're so important when maybe they're just important to them. And I don't want to say myself what's important to just me, you know, for my preference of something, but, I, but, what's in, but actually rather what is important to God on what he wants to get done. And the Lord spoke to me, a very unusual word this evening, very, very... He said the platform, he said the platform, that's the title of this, the platform, part one. If we continue in this, I think this is something, probably should, probably should preach a lot <laughs> and expound upon as much as possible. The platform, the platform, uh, and I'm going to get a little bit into it here and we're going to continue as the Holy Ghost directs. A, prat a platform is a raised surface, a raised level surface. Well, you don't want it to be a raised surface that's on an angle because people could fall off. You want it to be a level thing. I see something in raised, I see something in level, I see something in sur on surface in those few words. It's a raised level surface on which people or things can stand. It's also a declared, another definition is that it's a declared policy something. <clears throat> Some people think it's a political thing or then the social media, they say it's a platform or media is a platform. Uh, we only want to get the word of the Lord out. That's the vision. We don't care through which platform it is. And even if I had my own platform, it wouldn't be for the purpose of just selling it to others to make money. You know, everything I think about is funny enough, the platform I'm talking about here, about my life and what I want to, what I need to achieve based on the direction of God is everything I want to build is something that I want to use. It's not something I want to sell. Zero. I have no interest. 
if I'm going to build a kitchen with the greatest nutritionists and the greatest chefs and the greatest, you know, uh, ingredients and f uh, furniture and equipment and all that, I am going, to, I am about to do that like within some days. I'm telling you, I'm about to do it. And uh, I, I have no interest in opening a restaurant so that other people can feel like, wow, that's good food. Let me go eat there and give some money. Don't need your money. Don't need it. We don't need, you know, God takes care of everything for us. We don't, we don't need to do that. If I have a media platform like a television network, I don't know what I'm going to do with that except to say, I mean, I know I'm going to use it for our, uh, our voice to the nations of the world, but if other people are going to come on, I think it's going to be by design and by invitation by me of somebody I think that has a benefit. Uh, their voice and the information and what they carry is of benefit to other people but it's going to be through our platform. But to have it as a business, to sell it to other people, I don't even know them, they're crazy, they're you know, whatever. I don't, have, I don't have an interest in that, that's how I'm thinking. Someone said, someone said, how can you build, someone might ask, how could you build a whole thing like that that's so costly and expensive, a big thing, uh, and, and then not like derive income from it? Why? Because God provides. God takes care of it. He set it up for us for our use. And I want to say in this day and hour, oh my God, I feel the anointing here. Boy, this is heaven. This is heaven. This is heaven. Every day is heaven when we're on, speaking to God's people, but... Wow. Oh. The thing that we need to see happen is very important in the order of having a safe productive, pleasure-filled, healthy uh, life, great life. Wisdom is justified of all her children. If you have wisdom, you'll build great things. Dear friend says, wisdom is knowing the difference between this or that or this one and that one. It's true. There are different levels of things and you want to go higher, you got to go to the higher levels. I'm studying a lot of things about higher levels of things and uh, looking at that and also believing God to not blindly saying, I just trust Jesus and the Holy Help, but it intelligently praying and looking into things and, and speaking things into existence of what we need. And I'm doing it again here right now. I'm prophesying the platform. Everything on the platform that God wants, everything in the platform, the raised level surface. Three words. Raised means it's a high thing. Level means it's, so it's a solid foundation. A lot goes into that. You can, if you can... Explore that a little bit with me, you, you know, think about it, you'll understand there's some depth to that. And surface, the surface of it, like, to contain <clears throat> the weight of glory, the weight of people, the weight of situations, the weight of what? And everything on the outside, let it remain on the outside. Even Jesus, this is a funny kind of analogy of a, a scripture, an example, but I just came to my, by the Holy Ghost, come to my, I'm just flown by the Holy Ghost. Jesus said, outside are the dogs. He told this other woman, the Samaritan woman. Why do you come to me for prayer? I'm not supposed to pray for you. I'm sent to the lost, I'm sent to the lost sheep of Israel, the house of Israel. <laughs> what was the division later? Man, I feel the anointing. Oh my God. Oh God, yes, Lord. Mambrosha <laughs> Masanama Angeli Sokotiaka Vesete Mosakata Endo Ose Kia Ando Shetelebo Oso Fase Atsite Masandarama Aya Mente Shi Satalaba Hai Itake He 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 Sato Osha Mata Sadana Mahandi Karabahado En Salaba Yesaka Ita So Yeah Yes Lord Mm. For these are now the days, says the Spirit of the living God, 
when I'm going to begin to separate so many things in the lives of people that I've called and placed my hand upon, says the Lord. And I'm going to begin to cause a new awakening in people and shake them off and shake the mud and the crust and the dust off of them and the cobwebs and the, the oppressions and manipulations of words and desires of men and genders of the, of the enemy and other men and people that uh, were just counterproductive to the real plan that I have for my, my certain ones, says the Lord. And I'm going to begin to separate them unto my call and unto my vision and unto the, the platform and unto the, the build the thing, to work in the thing, to stand upon it, to be in it. And there's the support pillars underneath to hold it up. And there's the ones that stand on the top and there's the ones that are working. I see like a, like a platform is like a building. It's like a, it's like a whole organism, mechanism. It's alive, but it's a solid thing. And it's just going to be like that. And everything is in it and on it for the purpose of building a, a thing, a, an entity, an enterprise, an operation that the Lord is himself is going to then be going to, he's going to be... <laughs> He's going to be able to my God, help me, Lord. He's going to come and begin to begin to Yes, Lord. Wow. He's going to begin to come and begin to build and plant, and he's going to begin to uproot, according to Jeremiah 1.10, remember that? Uproot, pluck out, pull down, throw down, tear out, tear down. Weeds in the garden of people's lives, and then begin to build and plant something new. And I command, says the Lord, that some will be commissioned into this thing, to build the platform, to stand on it, and to work in it, and to be a part of it. And that's going to be my assignment for them. People are going to have to hear God. They're going to have to make a choice and a decision. It's not going to be like, well, I'm over here, but I'm over there, but I want to do this, and I think about that, and then everything's like another option. No, the Lord says, I'm going to tighten people's uh, mindsets up, that things become very clear, very clear, very fierce, very... Uh, solidified and serious about what they need to be doing according to my plan in this day and hour. And I said to myself, when I heard the Lord say, this thing about the platform, God says also media is opening. People and teams are coming together. Ministry teams, uh, administrative, technical, administrative, all kinds of avenues of operations for what God wants to get done. It's coming together. And I'm going to make this happen, says the Lord. Watch. With even days, seconds, and hours, in a very short time, I'm going to begin to cause this dawning of a new day to build the platform that I have ordained to be built. And even I had it in my mind for a very long time, but there were many obstacles, many restrictions, many delays, and demonic interferences but the Lord says the day and the hour has now come when I'm going to begin to make this thing flourish and fly it's going to be built very well and it's going to flourish and fly and my movements says the Lord are going to go out to the Nations of the world, we're going to begin to see new things. I began to think about the platform and I thought, yeah, you know, I'm done. I'm going to say this officially. And people that are out there that are well, listening, you do what you want. You got your vision. I mean, I'm talking about other preachers, other ministries, because, you know, this... This, this network goes far and wide. A lot of people stumble on, they hear. You can get something out of this, because I believe God is, it would also be talking to many people about what I'm saying here. Because this is the word of the Lord, and it will apply to many different uh, settings and situations and people, you know, in different spheres of whatever. But I see a network coming together, and I see a, a, a group of people that are working on fire 
with passion for the vision that God has given us to accomplish and establish. <clears throat> Excuse me, in this day and hour. And it's going to be so fierce. And many people want many things from different people. Many thing, people want things from me. You know, they want me to come here, come there, do this, do that, and I just have zero time. I'm just, in fact, I've lost my interest. In fact, uh, 90 something percent of invitations, not high 90 percent, I'll go to a even like a 98, 99 percent of invitations I receive, I, I, I don't accept because I'm building. I have to build something now. And uh, <clears throat> I'm not going to take my energy and go somewhere. Extend my time and energy. I've done that too much. Now the days gone by, says the Lord, you cannot regret because things happened the way they did and you flowed in many places the way you did. And uh, But now, from this moment on, says the Lord, I'm going to begin to cause this platform and network and tribe to be built. It's going to span all across the nations. It's going to have many tributaries. It's going to have many representatives. It's going to have many connected people. And it doesn't always have to be so official, but just be in the spirit. People in many nations across many continents are going to be, you know, led by God and drafted into this thing and, and grafted into this thing and it's going to be phenomenal people we've never met it's like the minute they get uh the contact you know it's just something's just going to get switched on and it's just going to begin to it's just going to begin to flourish and work watch it happen in the coming months says the lord thank you lord i know what we're supposed to do like next I've known for many days, and now we're seeing the fruition and the, the way and the means for it to happen, and it's just going to be marvelous, a marvelous and phenomenal thing. Very phenomenal, very phenomenal. Oh, God, I feel the Holy Ghost here. Platform, platform, platform. Again, I'm not speaking to everybody out there. Someone could hear this and go, you know, I think that I feel like the Lord is talking to me about that. And you may tell me about it now or mid midterm or later that, wow, you spoke that word and I heard that. And it kind of it's something God was telling me. And I, and I just want to say this from a practical standpoint, too. Anybody that builds anything great that's of any notoriety, they took time to build their thing. The thing, then they built it. And they, they, they didn't leave it to just be haphazard and go. You, you can't be like, like tumbleweed, as they, they used to say. Blowing in the desert, those weeds that get, get round and the wind blows them and they go that way. And then the wind and dust blow them and they go that way. And then they go over here and then they go over there. And they, they, they're tumbling, tumbling along, but they're not laying any roots. And they're not building any foundation. And they're not building any houses. And the Lord says right now, thank you, Lord, with immediate effect, instant effect, I'm giving resources. Haki, chaki, atalaba, shetokosea. I'm giving property and real estate. I'm giving facilities. I'm giving the ability to secure, purchase, get things. The people are going to come in that have expertise in so many areas and just connect because it's time. In fact, it's over time. But the Lord says, watch how I do this thing. and It's going to be a quick work. Father, I pray for that because time is spent. Time is gone. Uh, uh, we have to redeem the time. I know that. Occupy until I come. You see, I've been speaking about that over the last few weeks. Occupy until I come. Decree a thing. It'll be established to you. Work while it's day. We only have so much time. And we need to get it. We need to get it done now. I said to someone on the phone, I had a international, some international conversations. Uh, oh my, all night, even in the morning. And the Lord was, you know, just having me say, what, what has to happen has to be done now. There's a question here, a platform. Is it a protest or a program? 
Some people think it's a protest or the platform for a protest. That's something out there that hasn't taken root yet. But, I, but, but watch this. But a program, I like that better. It can be both. But I like program, the program of God. So we ask the question, what's the platform? It's a program of operation. Now, you come from the British colonization. You spell it with two, an M-E on the end of it, which is me. I like that. Ed Hokaba Shito. That's what I never saw that before. That's a revelation. In America, we spell program P-R-O-G-R-A-M. In the English version, English, UK language, part of the English, we say program at the end. P R O G R A M and then M E. I like to add the M E. Let's add the M E to the program. Me, I'm in it. And I command by the Holy Ghost right now that every person that's a part of this vision that's supposed to be connected with me, I am done with wide shot, hoping that, you know, everybody will listen or whatever. I'm done. And that's the time when you get to that point, God opens up the whole world. Let me tell you, we'll be on broadcast. We'll be broadcasting to millions of people. Fact. That's a fact. That is a factual statement. That will be, and building it and sending it from the platform of this tribe we call Dominion. If God ever has another name, he wants to insert. I felt something about a name of church, uh, but I'm going to leave that on the shelf for now. But this Dominion thing, as he said, the name of our ministry shall be Dominion International. I had an open vision from heaven and when I, while I was in Europe many years ago. And I saw it come down like a carved jewel out of the heavens. At the time it was Thomas Manton Ministries, you know, like everybody else does. But the Lord said Dominion International. So I, I began to use that from then. But Thomas Manton Ministries is valid also. International, T-M-M-M-I. Y'all pray with me right now. Father, I thank you for healing in the physical body. Let the healing anointing flow. I take it first because I need it to help this thing that's going on here. I curse it at the root and I command it to leave in Jesus' name. And I command anything that's causing that, whatever it is. I know it's a very dusty place, a lot of dust, a lot of nonsense, a lot of the environment. But you know, whatever's catching that or whatever, I command it to be healed right now in the name of Jesus right now. Wherever you need healing, receive the touch of heaven right now. Lay your hands on yourself right now. Let's pray right now. I command all pain, all, all virus, sickness, bacteria, disease, any affliction, any infirmity, any kind of uh, abnormality or disease, lack of ease, disease, uh, demonic or natural or whatever, or genetic, who, who, who cares, who knows, or uh, they say hereditary or, or we curse that in Jesus' name. We break that curse. And uh, whatever, environmental or contagions or whatever, every bit of it I curse it in Jesus' name. It doesn't matter where you've been. It doesn't matter what's happened in your life. It doesn't matter. Jesus is the healer right now. Whatever afflicted you before should afflict you no more from today. I command it to be so in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the healing fire from heaven go into us right now. I feel it. Here. The crown of our I feel it. I feel the Holy Ghost. From the crown of our head to the soles of our feet right now. With long life, you'll satisfy us and show us your salvation because our mind is stayed on you. Also, uh, Psalm 91, 16, that is. Hebrews 6, 10 says he's not, a, he's, not an un, he's not an unjust one to forget our labor of love. He will reward us. 1 Timothy 5, 7, 17, where is that? The elders, somebody write that down for me. The elders that rule well will be counted worthy of double honor, which is also financial. Honor, 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 honor. Double favor, double open doors, double breakthrough, double productivity, double pleasure. The double is just like a word of like twice as much, but it could be multiplied that. Because the Lord knows who's faithful to him. I'm telling you, you know, we, we keep going. We keep at it. Never quit. Never can quit. Keep flowing. Keep speaking. Keep prophesying. Keep teaching daily. Keep going with it. It's like, uh, you know, the Lord sees that. And all we've done before and how many people we've helped. And he will help us. 
He will promote us and honor us. And I see this thing about real estate again, properties. I see uh, productivity, it, people that are connected with us in business. And I see our platform, our tribe, just being elevated. Say amen. Now, I'm not speaking. Other people, I'm telling you, you have your own flow. I'm done. I'm done with that. I feel a real, like a divine, you know, passion about this thing, about building what we're supposed to build. It's such a trick of the enemies. I don't know if it, you know, you, you know, someone said, can you blame the devil for going to preach somewhere? Well, not really, but if he's going to wear you out or hurt you, you don't know. You just think like, you know, hey, uh, it's all good because it's in the church thing, you know. But I've gone to places, I come back tired, feeling, you know. And you get out, <clears throat> you get out of the grace zone. I want to say that. There's a grace to run a race, a particular race on a particular road, on a particular highway. You need to make the decisions to flow. And get on with the program that heaven has, and that's it. Can't do everything else. And that's where the grace is. So you don't want to be out of that. Now, something else the Lord said to me. Um, was about this thing about wealth creation. Tremendously gigantic in the realm of wealth creation and blessings. It's coming to, it's coming to faithful people. Say amen. Deuteronomy 8.18, Isaiah 45, 1, 2, and 3. I don't have time right now to stop and share the scripture. Isaiah 48, 17, your prophet. Write those down. Uh, Isaiah 43, 2, and then 18, 19, and 20. Write them down. Write them down. Don't, I'm not going to do your work for you. You people need to work. Listen to me. Write them down. Write them on the screen. Everybody, I don't care. If you're just coming and join on and you're getting blessed, don't just say hi. Do some work with me. Write them down. Isaiah 45, Isaiah 48, 17, Deuteronomy 8, the whole chapter is good, but 8, 8, the 18th verse especially. John 15, 7, Joshua 1, 8, and 9. Getting it? Are you getting it? Make your notes and go back, replay this, and then play it back and type it in for me. Do it on the replay. And please, if you're writing a scripture, if you can copy and paste the whole verse. Somebody can do that even if you're doing it by uh, whatever. Now, the main thing is I just don't need it to be on this. <coughs> it's good that it's on this video here. But I really want this to go into like a writing, like a newsletter, a blog, podcast, whatever you call it. Writing, book, newsletter, e-news, that it can be sent out to people. And we need the compilation of the scriptures. Now, that one about double honor. Is it First Timothy 5 something, 17? Somewhere in there. The elders that rule well. Those that are faithful in their calling will be counted worthy to receive double honor. And that's in the affairs of their life, even financially. Now, I heard that. I heard that from, I heard that from the Lord. Now, let me move on. So financial blessing. Also, Psalm 35, 27, God takes pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. Me and you as you're also serving. And let everybody feel convicted too because we can all do so much more. <laughs> Good things. Amen. Say amen. Now, something I want to get to. The Lord had me to pray. This was coming from me to him, you understand. It would sound like a very forward thing to say. Almost like bordering a borderline uh, rude a little bit, but I didn't mean it in any way from my heart, but just being overwhelmed by what, what he showed me what I need to be doing. And then all these other things come up. And I told the Lord one day, a few months ago, especially when that Afghanistan debacle happened by the idiot in the house over there. Blithering idiot. Complete buffoon. You know the guy. <laughs> Lord Jesus, help us, help us, deliver us. And um, <laughs> Afghanistan, 
And I had prayed years ago about the Taliban, you know, being like, you know, disseminated. And it happened. This was 10 years ago, 10, 12 years ago. I had a prophecy about that. It came to pass. And, you know, in the Middle East, you know, that other group, you know, the I starts with an I, those bad guys. The American military and the forces went in there and wiped them under the last regime of President 45. The media can never tell the story, but they were... Now, they want to resurge again. It's terrible what's going on. So anyway, this, I began to cry. I thought, no, these guys with the things on their heads, they were the ones that God began to scatter and to begin to suppress based on the prophecy that I gave. Now they have the whole country in their hands, even these military equipment and all that just left to them. Are you kidding me? Because of this blankety blank over there? No way. So everybody's crying, putting tears, pray for this, whatever. And I, I, I said, Lord, I cannot get off my assignment to get onto this one. So please, you elect people, all right? Hire people, hire them, you know, whatever, to pray for this, to get involved in this, and I hope it can be sorted out. But I can't divert what I'm doing to go all over into that. And I got another revelation by praying that. And I've been telling the Lord that a lot. I, said, I told this uh, younger pastor who's going to come to work for us. Uh, the other day we met for a coffee and he was traveling through the city and we met and uh, called me to meet me. And <clears throat> he's going to be coming on board with me soon. The, the great guy. But uh, the Lord had me say to him and he just laughed. I said, God, you have a lot of people in the body of Christ. We all can't do the same job. And uh, can, you can hire them and engage them to take on that burden. I can't be looking this way, then I'm looking that way, then I'm looking that way. And you know, the funny thing, of, the funny thing about the assignment of God, the specific thing, there's some things that you really care deeply about, but then you've got to watch yourself. There's some things that you don't care about that don't really affect you. That means you're not assigned to it. Don't feel bad about that. I saw the cold weather... Someone sent uh, a friend of mine that I knew from years ago. <clears throat> he lives in New York, outside of New York City, and the temperature's minus five degrees Fahrenheit. Minus five. That's as cold as you can imagine for, the, for, New, York, for New York. New York City, not the northern up in Buffalo where there's snowstorms happen. It gets real cold. On the Canadian border, very cold. I mean, every winter's bad up there. Always has been a bad winter up there. It's never been a good one. Never been a warm winter up there in Canada. And it's cold. I mean, sub-zero temperatures, but sub-zero in New York. I thought, you know, someone was just writing me from Texas saying, yeah, it's cold. It's cold now. It's terrible what's going on. Cold everywhere. Lately, I said, I want to write back. I didn't have time, but I'll probably write a note back later. I think it's because of the spiritual climate in America. They've really messed up so many things can bring judgment. I remember Texas last, last winter, all the pipes were bursting because it froze so much. It had never happened before. And people's houses were ruined. It was horrible. Imagine you own a house and the weather's always kind of temperate. All of a sudden you have this deep freeze and everything blows up. It's a statewide emergency. That's a disaster. Oh, yeah, yeah. So... I was thinking how amazing that was that it's that cold. And someone who has a real gift of compassion wrote me when they saw that. I had sent it to a few people and they wrote, she wrote back and wrote, oh, God help the people that they don't freeze. And I was like, wow, look at that. It didn't occur to me that way. When I saw it, I was just amazed at the temperature, you know, scientifically, technically, like, wow. My mind, did, you know, I'm busy. My mind didn't go to the next part about, oh, God, people are cold. And, and she wrote back with her compassionate heart. She has that gift of mercy, that anointing, you know, for that. And, uh, wow, you know. Help them, Lord. And I'm like, Jesus, that's a great prayer. I wish I thought of that. <laughs> I wish I came to be before... I wish I got it before you got it, but you got it, thank God. So we, but the point here too is the body of Christ, we all need each other. <clears throat> Say amen. Every joint supplies. 
Do all see like the eyes? No. Do every part of the body hear like the ear? No. Is every part the hands or the feet or the arms or the legs or the organs somewhere? No. In this platform that God wants to build, oh my, I am. He wants to have built, he wants to see it built. Yeah, I said it right, B-I-L-T, B-U-I-L-T, I I said it that way. To build a meaning, but I said built, like I'm already ahead in in this realm prophetically. It has to be built, it has to be built up. And uh, heaven's help, resources, every kind of thing, strength, energy, life, health, wealth, people, experts, expertise, excellence, it's all coming together to help see this thing done. In Jesus' name, say amen. I'll continue in this as the Lord directs at some point, but I really like this. This has just been a little part one. And uh, the Lord is saying, what I have to do across the nations is so important. It's so urgent. It needs to happen so quickly. God says, uh, get ready to see the most amazing miracles of provision and supernatural increase, supernatural increases and blessings that you've ever seen in your lifetime. That's a prophetic word. And I say this to people that are good that can catch it. But more importantly <clears throat> to me is to the people that are connected with us. It's going to be a part of this great vision. Now, I'm not saying it so uh, I can partake of something. Although that's good. That's a good thing. But I'm saying in the realm of God showing himself strong that just so many things could be done for his own glory. That's where it's at. And to get a lot done, you need a lot of blessings. Say amen. You have a lot of blessings. You have a lot of options. You have a lot of money. You can do a lot of things. You have a lot of resources. You have the ability to do a lot of things. You have a lot of property. Again, the raised level surface structure to build everything upon. Now you can build it all upon that. If you don't have that, you can't do it. And people have lacked too long. The day of lack, the Lord says, I'm canceling it from you forever. Wow. You'll never be lacking another day in your life. You'll never be stuck and stagnated and manipulated and suppressed another day in your life. Say amen. You will prosper and be in great health. Even as your <clears throat> soul prospers, you're going to see what John, the old man John said. He said, beloved one, I want to see you prosper greatly financially. I want to see you be in great health, flourishing with strength and great life. And also your mind and your, your, your cognitive functions, your productive capacity, your emotional well-being to be prosperous greatly by the touch and the hand of God. So that is the word of the Lord. And we're going to see, <clears throat> excuse me, we're going to see God's favor like we've never seen it. Say amen. We've seen it over the years, quite a lot, quite a lot, quite a lot. And we, God, we thank you for all of that. Thank you for everything you've ever done for us. Thank you for everything we have now that's good. Thank you for everything you've done thus far. A royal, holy, wonderful, grateful thank you. Let's say thank you to the Lord right now. I wish I had communion elements for here right now. I take communion. I probably I have to start carrying them. We could have communion service. I, I don't mind doing it all the time. We always do it on Sunday, but... We'll do it more as the Lord directs. I'm not going to try to fool around with uh, not having the elements here. I don't have them here right now, but I will. I'll, I'll make sure I do on another session. ASAP. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, people, yeah, Lord, people that have sown into this work, 
you're going to be blessed. People that got touched by the grace, they're going to come back around and be like present, front and center, saying, I don't know what happened to me. I was here and I was there and I listened for a while and then I didn't. And, but I need to be back and I need to be on with you. Man of God, Dr. TM4. That's a fact. Father, every productive relationship that we need to have even more solidified in the kingdom with people, but with and on, on, on every scope, on every realm of positive development reality. Let the thing be solidified in this day. Let us push to be connected. Wherever there's been like dishonor, deception, jealous people, do stupid things, you know, people that are jealous, they, they lie, they, they persecute, they hate on, they, and they cause people to be damaged in their minds. Those kind of people better be, they, 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 get, they can get washed out of the kingdom, you know. And I, I, we've seen it. We've seen it. People that want to oppose the real move of God and mess with it. They want to oppose the servant of God and mess with him. They want to oppose a good thing and mess with it. It's like they might as well have plugged themselves into an electric socket, an open socket, and just cooked themselves because that's is dangerous. Jesus loves us. He loves me. He loves his prophet here. He loves his church. He loves his people. He loves his uh, movements, what he wants to do and get done. And Father, I make a new vow to you right now that we'll protect it the best we can. We'll work on it the best we can. Please help us, Lord. Some things can't get done because there's disjointedness of connection. You haven't had the, enough connection with uh, vibrant, vivacious people that you feel like you can work with. A new flow, a new flood of them are coming. And the Lord says, I say this, says the Lord, a new wave of great relationships, connections, workers, people, staff, kingdom builders, they're all going to begin to just trickle into the thing and connect. And we'll find them and they'll find us in Jesus' name. And I'm building by speaking this right now. Ezra 6.14, make a note of that. It said the elders built, uh, built and prospered by the prophesying of the prophet. I feel a little bit like... Um, an ownership mode mindset like right now I feel protective like a father might feel protective of his loved ones and his family his kids and his people his business or whatever he's doing I feel that I feel that I feel that right now I feel that thought right now very strong from the Lord we need to build it. And if you're a part of that, great. Come on in. Come on, let's build. If, if someone's not, then that's okay too. They can, they can listen. They can be a listener. A friend from far or whatever you'd say, however you'd say. But... Uh, God has a lot of people. Wow, I'm seeing it, Lord. Yeah, God has a lot of people he's going to bring on board with us. I'm amazed at what I'm seeing right now. I'm seeing it. Thank you for your favor, Lord. Thank you for the touch. Thank you for the economy of our own, our own economy. Thank you for the blessings of the Lord that make people rich and add no sorrow. Another one to write down. Proverbs 10.22. Boy, this needs to become a newsletter. Listen to me, Jack and Jill went up the hill. This needs to become a newsletter. Every time needs to become a writing. If, like there's a book I'm writing, and it's another chapter in a book from another message, great. But if it's like a one-time, this thing, the platform, it's a prophetic word. Another prophecy that I gave about a new movement of God coming, I think I said that 
uh, yeah, a few months back, that needs to be typed out as a prophecy document. It's not going to be a book. We're not going to publish it as a book. But it just needs to be something to be thrown everywhere. Let it be forwarded everywhere. Here's the word of the Lord. The prophet spoke these words. What's going to happen? And let it just go. This is one message by itself. In a, you, see what, you see what I'm doing? Like in a page, like a web page, uh, a singular web page. And send the link and send it. People open it and they see the whole thing. We can have some adverts for our materials or information on how to contact us or whatever. And have that as a, some photos, whatever, a photo gallery, as a web page. Bless God. Let it be done in Jesus' name. Father, whoever it is that's supposed to work with us technically, you bring them. Bring them to us now. Get them to us now. Our media team, our television uh, studio builders, the studio we're going to build, the offices we're going to build, the people, the ways of doing things, all the platf platforms, there's the word again, we're going to be on to broadcast to the world. The people that are the best in that, the most loyal, the most reliable, the most integritous, the most skilled, brilliant, and creative. Bring them into this thing right now in Jesus' name. I'm done. We have to build it. I'm done. I'll tell you. I'm seeing right now, like, I'm having this thought of, like, so many things we just teach, so much revelation. It's flowing. You wonder who's catching it. People are catching it because I get feedback. It's blessing a lot of people. That's great. But my God, it can't be just like we're throwing seed and it's just, you know, bouncing along the way. You, you, I want to see it go into the ground and be watered and germinate and then come up. And then we see the tree. We see the fruit. We can eat the fruit, we can enjoy it, or we can just say, we know we're building something. And then this platform, definition of platform, a raised level surface that something and someone, people, can stand upon. Wow. And it's also a position, a position of a particular... Um, I think I just need to read the definition again. Oh, yes. The declared policy. That's the word I needed. The declared, thought about, decided upon, planned. The declared policy. Hmm. A raised level surface on which people and things can stand. A raised level surface on which people and things can stand. And then a declared policy. The platform is being built in Jesus' name. Thank you for sowing into it. <clears throat> this grace, this anointing, connect as a partner. PayPal right now is good. PayPal.me forward sign Thomas Manton. Is that simple? It'll take you right to the page and you could use your card or your PayPal account to transfer and sow a seed into that. If you don't have PayPal, open it now. People ask me, do you have Venmo and Zelle, Zelle and Venmo? Not yet. We'll, we'll, get, to, we'll get to that. It takes a minute to do this. We'll, we'll do it. Cash App, uh, I'm not even going to promote that right now because it's only good in the USA. It doesn't work internationally. In fact, it used to be like where it worked for a while. Now they've just blocked all the, all the things through the net in any other nation. It picks up the region and it doesn't work. It doesn't operate. can't even open it to get into your account. So it's just like it's there, but it's not, it's just like an account that's somewhere else you can't use, you can't use the proceeds of it. So uh, if you're listening, please do me a favor, leave the Cash App alone. If you absolutely must use Cash App because you're just a Cash App junkie, then do that knowing that I'll access it later 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 but I, we, we, we can't get into it now because we're overseas paypal 
okay, is great. Also, there's this thing called SendWave. If you go to the Play Store and you open up thing and you type in one word, S-E-N-D-W-A-V-E, SendWave, and then you can put in my, my uh, plus 254-792-320-780 number. You'll see it in the heading. You could reference it again. And uh, my name, Thomas Manton, and it'll just come right to the phone through the M-Pesa uh, system. It's brilliant. It's brilliant. Those are probably the two best ways to sell right now. And M-Pesa, if you're in Kenya, you could send by M-Pesa. To the, you don't need the plus 254. 0792-320-780, and it comes through on the M-Pesa system. Internationally, you can do the same thing by SendWave. Just download it. A, it's an instant thing. It's the easiest thing to use. It's so easy. And you set it up and then you uh, just send that way. Oh, nice. The mangoes. What? Mangoes. Mangoes. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. So. Huh? I've complimented the coffee. Oh, thank you. Complimentary coffee. You see how favored I am. That's honor. Thank you, dear. Okay. Have a great day. Thank you, you see. I didn't ask. They just bought me a whole bag of mangoes. It's heavy. Oh, my God. That's... Are you serious? Thank you, Lord. You could, you could do curling, curling exercises with this. And... Uh, Cappuccino. Complimentary. Thank you, Lord. Now, you know these establishments. By the way, I just want to tell you, in case you, you know to figure out, these kind of places don't do that, okay? They don't give nobody nothing. They're in business. They, you, you're not going to get a free coffee in a year <laughs> or in your lifetime if you're a normal customer, but they know me and honor me as a man of God. You see, it's different. That was the head manager that just did that, because the, the, the workers and the other staff have no authority to do that. Only the top boss does that, and they, that's who just did that. So that's great. That's great. Thank you, Lord. I'm grateful. It's a time of honor. It's a time of honor. It's a time of honor. It's a season of honor. It's a season of breakthrough. Season of increase and blessing. John 10.10, 10, the thief came to steal, kill, and destroy. But I come to give you life and that more abundantly, the Lord Jesus said. Now listen, as I'm about to take off here, the Lord said to me today also by Internal thought, revelation by the Holy Ghost. Anywhere, he said, speak this, anywhere the devil has tripped people up to steal, kill, and destroy, to be stolen from, to be diverted, manipulated, distracted, delayed, denied, discouraged, depressed, disheveled, demoralized, uh, how would you say... Uh, Disseminated, you know, all these doers, right? Demolished, destroyed. Ha, 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 all that goes. D, 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 all the bad Ds. The Lord says, from today, I'm releasing an anointing upon you, my precious sons and daughters, to release my fire upon you. I'm doing it, says the Lord. And you're gonna, things are going to shift and turn around. From that realm of what the devil was doing to try to steal, kill, and destroy, it will happen no more. And I declare this as God's servant. Thomas Matthew IV is his servant. I declare this as his prophet. By the Holy Ghost. By the way, this is all about Jesus. Everything we do is about Jesus. Everything we do is about the Holy Ghost. It's all about him, okay? He's the, he's the platform builder. He's the maker. He is the platform. He is everything. And to him be all the glory for anything he's ever done through us, for us, to us, or what he's about to do through us, for us, 
in every, in every conceivable way. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Whatever the devil's done, it's broken in Jesus' name. And abundant life is yours in Jesus' name. If you want to type my website, because some people don't like my website in this media business here. They do funny things, okay? If you click the link, it may not go through. Go on your own browser and type in thomasmanton.com, www.thomasmanton.com, and it'll take you to my site. You can also use that platform to, to sew. But why do that when you can go right to PayPal? A lot of people have PayPal using it. So SendWave is good to send it to the phone. Preferably PayPal right now. PayPal.me, me, there it is again, the me word. PayPal, P-A-Y-P-A-L dot M-E forward sign Thomas Manton. M-A-N-T-O-N, that's all you need. It'll take you right to the page, you see my photo there. Click it, open a PayPal account for yourself. Uh, if you want to just use a credit card directly, go on thomasmanton.com and you can do it through there uh, also, okay? On the donations, uh, click on that and you can get right into the page to sew that way. <sighs> what are other ways? Western Union, MoneyGram, a lot of people don't use those so much anymore. You have to go to a shop with cash, that's kind of old school. It's okay. It's okay to do that. If you need information, details on that, uh, I'll just write me a note, I'll tell you. Some people are gonna come into big things, you know, big, big uh, proceeds of business deals, maybe real estate transactions, inheritances, investments that paid off, business things that were big, that were waited for a long time, and you need bank information to send bank to bank, contact me. Write me a note and tell me, and I'll send you the details privately and how you can do that in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you that the seed produces, Genesis 8, 22, as long as the earth remains, the seed time and harvest. Thank you for the blessing of the Lord that makes rich and has no sorrow. You're going to make your precious sons and daughters a thousand times more productive and a thousand times more blessed and increased and promoted in this season because it's the season of honor. And thank you for what we, what we are to build to have your word go to the nations of the earth. In Jesus' name, it's going to be beyond even what we asked or thought. Thank you for your favor, and that movement is on, and it's happening right now. I'm Thomas Manton IV. I'm praying for you. Thank you for being connected with me. As you do in your own life, you're going to begin to see God's favor in increased ways from this word of the Lord that I've spoken here right now. In Jesus' name. Talk to you on the next one. Love you much. I'm praying for you. Be blessed. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen.